All right, welcome to my first guide for Ark of War. Um, what we're going to go through today is what I do on a daily basis. The first thing I do at server reset to make sure that I go through all of my dailies, uh, my VIP, um, check my investments, um, just everything you need to do on a daily basis. If you do nothing else, this is what you should be doing on a daily basis. Now, some of this will be different depending on your VIP level. Um, so let's go into VIP first. The first thing you want to do is always spend all of your VIP points and always spend all of your VIP time tokens. You know, the 20, the, there's 30 minute ones, 24 hour ones, um, three days, seven days, 30 days. You want to use all of those. And here's why. If I go into my VIP, I have 473 days. Um, that's on this account. My other account, I've got almost 600. Um, how you get that is in time and space. The first thing you want to do is get yourself to wave 300. Um, this one's actually on wave 299 for the purposes of the merchant. There's a hidden level. What we've got is, um, if you go into the merchant, And we scroll down here, we should come across, this is, there we go, these 24-hour VIP privileges. You know, 60K cash, that's nothing. Another 60K cash, 60K cash. Um, you know, you can get 60K cash in like five minutes, you know, gathering resources, 10 minutes, something like that. So um, this was a light day. There's three of them, but you, sometimes you get them for meta crystals as well. Um, but I'll get between three to six, sometimes even seven of those every mop-up. And there's a trick to doing mop-ups so that you get it every single day. Um, it's a little complicated to go into this, but basically um, there's one day where you want to do it um, between eight hours after the server resets and 16 hours after the server resets. So there's an eight-hour window there. And then on the opposite day, you want to do it in the last eight hours before the server resets. So basically either middle of the day or end of the day, and it alternates every other day that way. Um, it's done based off of um, which quote unquote cycle you're in, which is basically which month you're in. Um, th that'll be on our Discord server, so you can find that. But um, that will give you VIP basically indefinitely. Um, I've been playing the game for, uh, let's see, 11 months. Um, I only started doing time and space seriously and VIP seriously maybe eight months ago. So in eight months, I've gotten a year and a half worth of uh, days on my VIP. Um, and the higher this number is, the better the rewards you're going to get. Um, the reason you want to have your VIP on 24-7 and as high as you can get it is, first off, you're never going to lose this. And if you're doing time and space, you're never going to run out of this. And every single day, it gives you a VIP daily chest for free. So that gave me a bunch of stuff. The big key point there was 12 magazines. That's 12 magazines a day. That's uh, 240 leadership. If it's on a commander that's under um, under about 500 leadership, uh, we'll go into which commanders you want to put leadership on first uh, later on in the video. But the next thing to look at is this VIP super chest. Now, this isn't a free-to-play technique. This is for people who want to spend. But we don't need to spend this $100. In fact, um, let me pull up a chart for that. I've built a chart for the VIP really quickly. Um, for $100, you're going to get 80,000 gold, 500 magazines, 24 million food and parts, 48 million electricity, gas, and 12 million cash. You get 400 one-hour speed-ups. Now this right here is arguable. If you get 100 Guy Stone frags, it turns into a single Guy Stone, which opens up a third uh, Star Jewel slot on your gear. This, this is one of the only ways to get it, but is it worth spending the $100 for 2% of a, of a Guy Stone? I don't know. Um, but if you go down here, for the same $100, you'll get 90,000 gold, 900 magazines, 60,000 food and parts, 30,000 electric and gas, and 30,000 cash. Uh, you get more hour, you get more mop-up tokens. 
for the same $100, if you buy $25 packs, you're getting 150,000 gold. Now, this is a VIP level 9. Lower VIP levels get fewer items for their bang for the buck. Because, as you know, the game gets exponentially more expensive with in-game resources, exponentially more powerful. So, in order to continue to entice people to spend money, they have to give you more stuff. And that's what that VIP level does. Um, but, you get the same amount of resources here. Until you get to, uh, well, actually, you get more electricity and more gas by double. And you get five times the amount of cash for the exact same amount of money. If you're just going to do 20 of these instead of one of those. And that goes pretty much all the way down the line. A thousand hours of speed ups, 2,000 mop up tokens. And then you get down, this is the weird one. If you spend the $1 pack a hundred times, you get half as much gold, but you get 3,000 magazines and 100,000 of the first four resources, and then you still get 60,000 on the cash. You get 2,500 one-hour speed-ups and 5,000 mop-up tokens. Um, of course, that's at the $100 range. I've also broken it down into $20. So here's the $20 VIP pack, what you get, and then what happens if you get four of the $5 packs or 20 of the $1 packs. The reason I brought that up is we'll go back into this, so right now you only see the $100 pack, and if we delete the uh, this $100 pack by hitting this trash can in the top left corner, it'll get rid of it just for that day. So if for some reason you want to buy the $100 pack, I would never buy that $100 pack. There are other $100 packs, if you are a spender, that uh, will give you better stuff. But now we've got a $20 pack. Now I don't want the $20 pack either. The reason for that is there's the $5 pack. And I've spent a lot of money this month. I mean, depends on who you are, but I've spent a decent amount of money this month, so I'm going to say no to the $5 pack. But because I treat this as a subscription fee, I always get the $1 pack. Now, there we go. $1 pack, um, 600 gold, 20 unlimited crystals. That's because I am at bridge 21, uh, 30 magazines. Um, that's a million food, parts, electricity, gas, and 600,000 cash, 25 one-hour speed-ups, 50 mop-up coupons, and a common gold, guild gift. Multiply all of these by 30 for your one-month quote-unquote subscription. So 30 times that's going to be 18,000 gold, 600 unlimited crystals, etc. So I buy that, I'm done. Of course, you don't need to spend money. Um, this guide is mostly for the free-to-play aspect. Um, but that's a little trick there for that. So now that I'm done with VIP, we'll jump into my daily quests, daily missions. So I don't worry about this. Yes, that can be helpful. Um, it's easy to do. But um, I go in to obtain arc resources. So you just go down here and you just got to collect five of them. If you've got a ton of resources up here, so you're maxed out on your capacity, but you don't have anything to spend it on, go ahead and collect it. By the time you spend those resources, you you will have wasted. Like the fact that this this ship's container is full, by the time you actually need those resources, you will have spent the resources that are in there again, wasted on it, not having any room for it down here. So it's okay to go ahead and click on it just to go ahead and get this mission taken care of. Exploration, pretty simple. Um, if you go in here and it shows that it's already done. That's because you've had your game open before the server reset. So we'll just reopen real quick. <coughs> and um, this will uh, reset everything on your screen. Um, I believe that the only thing that really needs reset is the explore, which the moment you try to go explore one of the missions, it'll do the same thing. But the reason it's important to reopen, and this is really only matters for people who are playing on an emulator on PC, because um, you can leave it open 24-7, um, it does prompt you for this. If you do not reset your game, you won't get this prompt, and you'll miss your weekly. And this weekly is pretty important, um, especially during this event. It's giving you these chests. Um, these are worth five super chests each. That's how much it costs to convert. So you're getting one of those every day. And then we go to monthly login. Um, here's a little trick on the monthly login. 
The very first thing you want to do every month is go ahead and buy, let's see, we've got seven per row. There's uh, four rows here, so that's 28. November has 30 days, so I want, um, this is where I'm going to get after day 30. Um, right now it's the 26th of uh, September, and the reason I bought up extra is for 50 gold you get one more spot, for uh, 100 you get one more, 150, then it's like 200, 250, something like that, and then 300. Um, I bought four extra spots so that 26th, 27th, 28th, 29th, 30, um, for six, 600, it's 500 gold. That's how much it all adds up to. I remember doing the math before. For 500 gold, I'm getting a B commander. Um, even in the time and space shop, which is the p cheapest place to buy these things, these are like 1,750 gold. And um, you'll notice that I'm picking up an extra 250 gold right here that I would not have gotten normally because here's my 30-day cutoff. The only reason I'm here on the 26th is because I've bought four of these. Um, so even if you're not going to go for the B commander, for 50 gold, you can buy this and get an extra 200 gold. So basically, it's a free 200 gold just for buying one spot. Um, if you buy four of them, you're going to get 300 points for VIP, 250 or 2,500 melange, and then this really important B commander for 250 gold. That's what it comes out to. 500 gold spent minus 250 is 250 gold. Boom, you get a B commander. Um, if it's a 31 day month, you're going to get that B commander for free because that fourth spot costs 300 gold to unlock. So um, that's on, you know, in December, come out here, buy one, two, three. That's going to cost you like 200 gold total or something, 300 gold. Um, and then bam, you've got it. So. We'll get out of the uh, daily rewards. Um, go back down to our daily missions. It wants us to explore. So that's what we were doing. We'll click on our explore chest there. Once you've finished up uh, chapter three, you're gonna get 18 magazines every day for free. Um, this is pretty easy to get to. Once you're into, um, Let's see, I've got a new account that I'm playing on, and I'm able to get up to like 327 or so just using Tier 3 troops. Um, once you get up to Tier 5, you can uh, throw on some dodge gear, and uh, let's go to level 330. This is kind of being a comprehensive guide now. We'll pretend, let's just pretend that we're using Rogers here. Um, you'll notice you've got Airships here, walkers here, and infantry here. Airships are really strong against walkers, the middle slot. So if you throw dodge on your commander, we'll go back here. I can put, um, we'll pretend I'm actually playing with tier five troops here. I'll put one master there. I'm gonna put my airships here and one master here. Um, this will beat that every single time. Because you're wearing dodge gear, your infantry are going to dodge the attacks on the top row and the bottom row, and your airships have strength and weaken effect against walkers, um, you know, the rock, paper, scissors of the game. And so they're just going to blast through that hole to kill it done. And you can do that. I, I can beat level 330 with uh, a commander that's got a 1,000 leadership on it. And anyway, what we're trying to do here is... Um, just complete two, any two explore missions uh, every day. So that's the requirement for that mission is two explore missions. We're just gonna run through here. Boom. Not mop up mode, that doesn't count. Do a second one. Um, if you have an event that gives you free tier nine, um, you can just put one tier nine in each slot there and they will walk through that like it's not even there. That's how powerful tier nine is. Go to our next one. Um, so there's a train infantry, train walker, and train airship. So we'll go do that real quick. Um, we're going to do tier one airships. Um, I've got uh, Paraloper domesticated at the moment, so I'm going to use this. But otherwise, you would just use uh, some speed ups. 
I'm just doing tier one airships, tier one walkers, tier one infantry. My meat shield's really low, don't tell anybody. Well, I do have a million, almost a million walkers, but which is equal to double that in rangers. So that's basically a meat shield. So that takes care of all three of those. Um, we jump over here. Um, time and space is an easy one. You go up here. All you have to do is collect it twice. So I collect it once. Um, you wait about 10 seconds or so, and it'll show up with a 90 here because I have maxed out Diablos. Do it again. That mission's complete. Continuing on. Um, we'll wait for the equipment to succeed because that's the last thing I do. Sell equipment right here and craft equipment. Selling equipment, you just go up to here, go to my trades, sell an item. Cheapest way to do it is a bargain item. So you just swap to down to bargain, grab one of these. Say you want to sell it for the cheapest it is, then immediately you cancel it. That counts. You sold the item. It does not have to actually go to market and sell. So now I'm going to go to craft and craft an item. Scroll all the way to the bottom. Grab my cheapest thing here. Say I want to craft it. Ask for help. Um, we got 10 seconds here to wait. Somebody clicked on it. It got helped. It's done. Crafting's done. Um, so we've done one, two, three, four, five, six missions. Seven for the Explorer. We need 15 to get the rare un rare box that gives you cool stuff. Um, I'm going to go in here, and this is a tip. I'm lazy. I use 100 magazines on a daily basis. I shouldn't. I should save them for the guild event for Raise Leadership or for um, one of the special events that gives you cool items for doing it. Um, but if you're wanting to play frugally, you would go to the commander you're trying to build leadership on, and just do a 10 20. That gives you one level. Or that's one of the missions. There's another mission for 100. I just did the 21. Um, we went and got our time and space. So, what do we got left? We've got guild. We're going to go here for upgrades. This is an important part. Um, we just did guild level 10. So, I'm going to drop down to member food production. This is how you get reputation points if you're not killing enemy troops uh, during capital battles. Um, you're going to get one reputation point for 5,000 resources. So there's five reputation points. Then it goes up to 20,000 each, and that gives you five reputation points each. So there's 30 reputation points. If I do it again, well, so let's count that real quick. That was 25k resources times five is 125k resources. We'll go up. Let's go back to our missions here. There is one here for all the way at the end for assisting your guild. Guild donations. You only need 120,000 resources. So doing the 5 and the 20,000 on each category gives you just enough to fulfill this. And that gave you 30 reputation points. Um, if you do 30 reputation points every day for 30 days, that's 900 per month. You can go into the guild shop and spend those, which we don't keep much in here because it actually uses your guild gold. I'm going to put some uh, oh, wrong account. I can't do that on this character. But um, that's how that goes. So I've got myself up to 11 here, so I'm missing one. Oh, that's right. It's the, uh, the 100 leadership that I didn't do. Um, so... There's the 100 leadership I didn't do today. So real easy. You're going to get one for occupying a resource tile. I'm not going to stay there. I'm just going to go capture it. So while that's going, um, we'll see this tick up to 12. There it is. Send those back so they don't get jumped. And when I go back in here now, I have 12. So, I'm at 12. Where am I going to get the last three? We go to Equipment to Seed Level 1. Drop off two pieces of gray gear. Scroll all the way over. Submit Equipment 2. Pick something cheap. Submit, uh, equipment to Seed 3. 
I like to go through here and just pick a heavy or medium rifle. Don't do the MK2s. Those are rare. You got to build those with uh, stuff you get out of Explore. So I'm going to do a light rifle. Now I'm going to collect all of this. Four magazines, eight magazines. So there's 12 magazines. Another 12 magazines. So that's 24 per day just for doing this. 10 cosmic crystals and one thing that remains nameless. We'll go down into the items here and take a look at what that is. That thing is called a daily quest chest. And when you open it, it's either going to give you a 24 hour speed up, um, a 1.2 mil resource box of your choice, which actually turns into two 1. mil resources for everything except the cash, or 25 magazines. So let's open it up. I got, oh, sorry, it was two of these boxes. So that's a really good grab because if I say I want to use this, that's two, two and a half million resources per one of those boxes I get. And so just doing my daily missions, which what took me five minutes while talking and explaining, only takes me like two minutes if I'm not explaining it, um, gets you to, you know, 4.8 million resources or 25 magazines. Um, so you want to do those every day. It's that easy to do. Um, some of those don't unlock until you have VIP level this or, you know, this, this bridge unlocked. Um, but you'll get there. Um, I don't remember when they were lower. Um, so uh, it was something like bridge 13, 14 is when you get everything. So there are my daily, my, uh, daily missions. Those are done. And that's the very first thing I do is get all 15 daily missions done. Next thing we go to daily explore. I've already reset it. Now this is a trick here. We're, we're going to count this out because I've never actually counted it. But we don't want to just go send these commanders. We want to get good missions. And what I mean by good missions is this one's a four-hour mission, and I get 48K of each resource and half of that for cash and 30 gold when I complete it. It's an easy way to make some gold. Sometimes they give you other items. There's a magazine for one hour, uh, two hours of speed ups, another 30 gold, nothing right? So basically we know that Baron Gobi is going to rip you off. But if we go up here and we refresh this, it's going to sound like a lot, but let's count it out. We're looking for anything that has four commanders. Now this might not work for you if you are a lower arc, but the reason you want to level your commanders up to like a class each is so that you can do these. Um, we're going to click on it, so 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Cost me 50 gold to get to Doom Mine. I'm going to auto deploy, and we're going to set out. Why did I spend 50 gold to get to Doom Mine? Well, it gives me 100,000, 100,000, 100,000, 100,000, 300,000. Or it will give me 200,000 of each in 100,000 cash. This was an unlucky spin. I could have looked at it first before sending out, but I don't actually care. <laughs> um, because I buy that $1 pack every day, I can spare the gold. Usually this is 100 gold here um, for the Doom Mine. So I spent 50 to normally get 100 gold. So right now we're at 50. We're going to do the next one. So we'll set out 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. There it is again. We'll close it and see what it is. There's 100 gold. So now we're getting 200k resources each and 100 gold. So I'm at 90 spent total at 100 gold. I'm making money at the moment. Uh, I might rewind this and see, see that my counts are off because I'm talking too much, but do the next one. Um, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, another 100. There it is. Close it, check it. It's a one hour speed up or three hour speed up. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. There it is again. That one's giving me 100 gold. So right now I'm getting 200 gold and I'm at about just a little over 200 spent. We'll do the next one. 
that was three clicks. 25 25% speed up, do the next one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, fair warning, uh, we've gotten lucky so far. Sometimes these take 20 or 30 clicks. Pretty good. There's 11 clicks, so 110 gold, set out. Another three hour. So this is a really weird one. I'm gonna flip over to my other account and give you an idea of what about 20 clicks got me earlier. 100, 100, 100, one, uh, not the three hour, five magazines, another 25. So for roughly 30 clicks, I got 300 gold. Now sometimes I click 30 times on a single one of these and don't hit a four, but overall it pretty much averages out. Um, you can set yourself a hard limit and say, I'm not gonna click more than 10 times per spot. Um, one rule I like to use if I'm low on gold is um, 10 times per spot and then click until I get the one that's called, um, there's one called uh, Frenzy Valley. It is takes three commanders and gives you, um, I think, 48k of each. Um, and it's a lot easier to get to. So sometimes I'll just make a rule that says click 10 times and then if I don't get do mine. There's one I didn't get here at all today. It's called a mythic, um, mythic something. It's a, it's a four spot, but it gives you um, 400 or 200 K of each resource plus something or 400 of each resource and takes 20 hours of a countdown. But as long as you're doing this right at server reset, you'll have enough time for the next server reset. So. So that's the next thing I do, is I do all of those. So we'll go through our dailies. I did all of my quests, all of my daily missions. I did all, got all my daily exploration going. If you're building for faction, you go through here and do these missions. That's another reason why it is important to get every single commander you have up to 1,000 leadership, um, or 850 leaderships where it stops giving you it gives you less return on your magazines. Um, and then go ahead and let them get up to A class and then S class. Um, because it makes all of this stuff easier. This gets a lot easier when your commanders are at 1,000 leadership. Um, and it, you know, it changes which commander you're using. So um, once you're up to uh, a like respected level of your faction, um, this will turn into a faction specific box that can unlock metals. So if I'm doing Voltar, this will actually give me, every week will give me five Hancock medals. At 60 Hancock medals, I can unlock Hancock. And as everyone knows, Hancock is disgusting. Everyone should have a Hancock period. Um, so that's how Voltar unlocks uh, Yuri for you and then gives you these chances for these boxes that give you Hancock. Nixa does uh, Stella and I believe the box gives you a uh, mysterious warrior or something. So, um, so we've done our dailies. We've done our daily explore. Go into our investments. Go ahead and claim those and max them back out. Quick explanation of uh, investments. You want to max all of these out. The most important one is right here. This is why you want uh, VIP turned on. You put 20,000 gold into it. 15 days later, you get between 30 to 70% uh, profit which is gonna average at 50%. So you put 20,000 gold in, you get 10,000 gold out every 15 days. That's 20,000 free gold every month. This is the same thing, except it doesn't have a range. You can put 10,000 into it and it gives you 45% back. So that's every 15 days you get uh, 4,500 gold back. So that's 9,000 gold per month. So 29,000 gold per month right here. This only unlocks when you get to cargo hold 20 this unlocks when you turn your VIP on. Um, this is 5,000 gold every 30 days. So that puts us at 34,000 gold for free. All you gotta do is save up enough gold to do this. And you do that by killing higher level monsters on the map and then immediately put it in investment. Don't buy, don't spend anything else. Max out your investments. Rest of these, um, this is roughly 30 gold per month. Um, same thing, well this is, uh, 1,000 gold per month. 
This is um, 600 times 4. This is 2,400 gold a month. Um, so these you don't have to do, but they're easy to get into to help you get to this level. These three right here are where it's at. You're going to average 34,000 gold a month. So you absolutely positively want to get those three. Um, that's about it. Uh, either here you'll either have a super vending machine or a uh, the uh, mega wheel spin. Tuesday and Thursdays you have super vending machine. Um, that's another topic. As you do time and space, you're going to get coupons. Do not use your lower level coupons. Always upgrade them. Hit auto select and upgrade now. To, you'll combine two forties to a fifty and so on up to ninety. And the reason you want to save all the way to 90% is because every once in a while, this is going to give you an energy stone or a level 30 melange bot. Those are 40,000 in, in the super vending machine are 40,000 gold each. And then you go over here and do your 90% coupon. That makes it 4,000 gold. People spend 10, 20,000 gold on guild mobilization just to win in the auction an energy stone here if you just if you're patient combine your coupons get up to 90 percent and just wait for it to appear you know here this is ha almost half price for a marching speed i'm going to go ahead and buy it because i do use marching speed boosts basically every capital battle i use one of those I'm not interested in the rest of this. You might think, oh, but I want to use a 50% coupon on this. No, you're going to get magazines other places for cheaper than 30 gold per magazine. Um, I've got the gold right now. I'm going to spend to refresh. Take a look at what we've got. Um, you know, that's a 24-hour resource boost production. I prefer to buy the three-day ones because they're only a couple hundred gold more. Um, so I don't see anything I like here. I'll click it one more time. And none of this I'm interested in. So, but, you know, I spent 500 gold there hoping that I saw an energy stone. Um, so that's about it for dailies. Of course, um, you can always do your release for free. Um, that, that's a use it or lose it, so you want to click on that every day. Got a bullet, turned into maps. This particular character, I'm not saving materials for infantry because I don't use infantry. I have a bullet, but I don't, I'm don't. i never going to awaken them, so I got 10 free mags there. Um, that's about it. So that is my daily run through. Oh, one more thing. If you have VIP maxed out and you've been collecting mop-up tokens, you can go into here and I'm going to pick the commanders I don't send on missions. So we'll just start at the bottom. Um, these are my level, my low-level commanders that I'm level ones I'm using to spam uh, to spam capital battles. So I'm just going to grab the ones I'm not interested in for capital battles. And I'm not going to use any of my top commanders um, that I actually use throughout the day because I don't want to use up their energy. So I have a bunch of mop-up tokens. Um, I can do 400 of these a day. So I'm just going to go ahead and climb this number up to 400. We'll leave Tina out because I might use her. Uh, 414. Go down here and get rid of a 14. There we go. 400. Hit auto mop-up. You don't have to wait for it to go through all of this. It's going to take forever. Click that red X. You still get the stuff. How do I know I got the stuff? Because I go down here and... My commander's level, and I've got 94 equipment. I'm going to go to bulk cell, go to rare, select all. If we go all the way to the bottom of the list, we can see if there's anything I was keeping, which there is. You know, I've got uh, basically all this stuff. Anything that doesn't say new on it, we're going to unselect. That's faster than, um, usually if you're doing that much, usually faster to unselect these than it is to select all the news. Got a little bit of a lag there because of the uh, recording software. 
The reason I'm unselecting all these is because it does look like I've got some extras here from previous days I haven't cleaned up. But I only want to select the ones I got new because I want to show you how much you get in Melange for mopping up uh, daily. Okay, it looks like I've been lazy for a while. <laughs> There's a lot of stuff in here. I don't usually keep this much. But... Wowza, so much stuff. Okay, so for doing 400 mop-ups, I got 40, 42,000 um, Melange for free. So we're going to sell that. It's going to say confirm. I always scroll through here just in case I click something I didn't want to click. Looks good. Boom, 42,000 Melange. Um, you can't do 400 every day for eternity, but... You'll, you'll stack up mop-up coupons over time. Um, so that is the end of my daily guide. Um, I might go through here and count everything that I got and add an addendum to this video that says, here's everything I got in one day using this technique. Um, but for now, we'll just call that good.